वेलकम टू जेम केम नॉट टू डिस वीडियो इज अ न्यू टॉपिक आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया वेर वी विल डील विद लार्ज अटेलियस प्रिंसिपल थियोरीज ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस आयोनिक प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाटर एंड पी एच स्केल एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन द बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर सिलेबस ऑफ यू जी सी नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट लार्ज अटेलियस प्रिंसिपल सो वॉट इट बेसिकली सेज दैट इफ वी अप्लाई एनी काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस इट इज रिलीज इन सच अ वे such that its effect on equilibrium is least that is there is a management of the stress using a opposite reaction now what are those stresses which we are talking about the stresses are first one is pressure next one is temperature and the last one is concentration of reactants and products now suppose for exothermic reaction when we decrease the temperature then forward reaction is favored as in case of exothermic reaction heat is being released and for endothermic reaction similarly on increasing temperature forward reaction is favored now for gaseous reaction on increasing pressure equilibrium shifts in such a way to minimize the effect now we will see for the theories of acids and bases now what here we will know we will know about the constants which are acid dissociation constant and base dissociation constant now what do we mean by acid according to the bronsted and lowry concept acid is one which can donate proton and base is one that can accept proton now for this one we can write the equilibrium constant as k is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants right so these are the products divided by the concentration of reactants that is these are the reactants now what now we have to assume something now in this case water is present in very large concentration okay so as a result this can be taken this side so finally what we can write we can write it as k h2o is equal to ka and this ka is actually h3o plus a minus and below in the denominator h a and this k a is actually our acid dissociation constant okay so this is the expression for acid dissociation constant now we will go for case of base now we have already seen that base can accept a proton so see this is a b that is a base accepts a proton to produce bh plus and oh minus now what will be the base dissociation constant similar to that we will just ignore the water term and we get the base dissociation constant which is bh plus oh minus concentration divided by b concentration and this is our base dissociation constant now we will see a example now see for this one first one so this is a acid nh4 plus and nh3 is a base so first we will get the acid dissociation constant which is reactant concentration that is nh3 concentration and h3o plus concentration divided by the concentration of nh4 plus right similarly for the next one base dissociation constant is nh4 plus concentration into oh minus concentration divided by ammonia concentration so ultimately if we multiply this to what we are going to get that is if we do ka into kb now what are the things which gets cancelled if it is done nh3 nh3 gets cancelled this one and this one and the nh4 plus and nh4 plus gets cancelled so what is left with is h3o plus into oh minus concentration right and this is given the name of kw so always remember acid dissociation constant into base dissociation constant gives kw now what is the kw we will learn it from the dissociation of water we see that two molecules of water dissociates to give us h3o plus ion and oh minus ion 
Now, what is the equilibrium constant here? Here, the equilibrium constant is K upper H3O plus OH minus and since there is two water molecules, so the concentration gets squared. So, H2O concentration square. So, we take it here. So, K H2O whole square is written as KW which is equals to H3O plus and OH minus concentration. For any aqueous medium, this relation is true. And this KW is known as ionic product constant of water or also known as water dissociation constant. Okay. Now we will see the values of KW at different temperatures. Now at 0 degree, it is 0 0.114 into 10 to the power minus 14. Similarly, for 25 degree Celsius, it is 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power minus 14. For 50 degree Celsius, 5.47 into 10 to the power minus 14. And for 100, it is 49.0 into 10 to the power minus 14. So, with temperature, Kw value changes. Now, we will see what is pH scale. Now, previously, we know what is pH. So, Sorensen introduced the pH scale to express the concentration of H3O plus ion. pH is given by minus log concentration of H plus ions. Now, we know that H3O plus concentration into OH minus concentration gives us Kw, right? So, in equilibrium, the concentrations of OH minus and H3O plus is same. So, we take the square equals to Kw. So, ultimately, pH comes to be as half of pKw. Right. How come this occurs? Here, we take the power for log. The power comes before. So, it is half pKw. So, pH equals to, suppose, half minus log 10 to the power minus 14 for water. So, it comes to be as 7.0 at 25 degree Celsius. Now, if someone asks, what is the pH of water at 50 degree Celsius? So, according to the Kw, it would have less pH and it would become acidic. But actually, water always remains neutral and its pH is always 7. So, we have to always remember this. In whatever temperature it is present, water has always pH equal to 7. Now, we will see in alternate ways how to find out the concentration of OH minus ion. We know pH equals to minus log concentration of H plus ions, right? If concentration of H plus ion is 1, then pH is 0, right? Minus log 1 is equal to 0. So, what is OH minus concentration? OH minus concentration is Kw by H plus from the relation of Kw. So, we get it as 1 into 10 to the power minus 14. So, this is the concentration of OH minus ion. Now, suppose it is asked what is the concentration of OH minus as well as the pH of 1 molar NaOH. How to answer it? Here, the concentration of H plus ion is 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 given. So, from here only, from the power only, we can write the pH of it is equals to 14 using the power. Okay, now we will see a chart. Now, see this one, concentration of H plus, pH, pOH and OH minus. So, if 10 to the power 0, the pH also becomes 0, whereas pOH is 14 because it is the minus log concentration of OH minus. So, when there is no H plus, there is 10 to the power minus 14 OH minus to compensate the ionic product, right? Similarly, in this case, it is the opposite. So, this is how we can get the pH easily from H plus ion concentration as well as 
OH minus concentration can be obtained from here. So what we see here, it is pH is equal to minus log of H3O plus ion concentration, whereas POH is minus log of OH minus concentration, right? And ultimately, using the relation of H3O plus concentration into OH minus concentration, we can easily obtain this relation, which is important one. pH plus POH gives us the value of pKW, which is equal to 14. And KW value is 10 to the power minus 14 approx. Okay. Now we will see a simple sum. Here, this is given HCl plus water. It produces H3O plus plus Cl minus. So we have to calculate the pH of HCl at these concentrations. Now I have already told you just look at the power and keep writing. So for this one, the answer will be pH equal to 2. We can answer. From here, it is pH equal to 3. Here, it is 4. Here, it is 5, 6 and 7. But be careful, pH can never exceed, not exceed 7 for acid. Because we know acid has pH less than 7. So, this has to be carefully remembered. So, next we will learn about the different equilibriums present in strong acids, weak acid and strong base and weak base. So, this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.